Yep, that's water. I just came across our biggest piece of the day. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly, the ugly Sasquatch that looks like a vampire that's hanging out in his wetsuit in a very cold river looking for gold underwater. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, the water level is super high today which means it's gonna be difficult to find an area to work, especially because how bad the visibility is. But that won't stop me from trying. Yep, that's water. Eventually, I did find a spot that was in my reach and one I could almost see. And even though I did manage to find one wee piece of gold, I made the call to leave and come back in a couple days when the water level drops. All right, back sniping again. It is really, really cold. So it's gonna take me a little while to get used to the water on my face, but we're here. Found a nice little crack in here. Let's see if there's gold. So the first thing you have to know when looking for gold is that gold is super heavy. So if there's gold in this crevice, it's gonna be at the very bottom underneath all these rocks. And if you haven't put your face in ice water for a while, it's gonna take a bit to get used to again. Uh, uh, another break. That's freezing. Eventually it goes away once you're numb. I located some decent looking bedrock around these boulders, so I had to do some actual labor to get to it. This took some time, but eventually I got down to where I wanted to be. So strong. And after spending all that time and energy working down to bedrock, I'm proud to say I'm the new owner of this little piece of fly poop. Ooh. Sometimes they don't find anything, so I'll take it. I found this little crevice here outside of the main water flow. Just found a little piece of lead, and uh, yeah, that's a good sign that there could be lead around. I make sure to never skip over the thin cracks because these can sometimes hold the most amount of gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. The crack that I'm following here led to this parallel crack that was holding some gold, but because of the angle, it was difficult to point the camera in. I found a couple pieces of gold deep in that little crack. I just can't get the camera to look in there, so I'm gonna suck them up off camera. This one was easy to see, so here we go. No. Right there. There's our biggest flake of the day. Let's get it. And this is why I'm calling this one the Spider Man piece. <laughs> right there. Spider Man, Spider Man. There's a whole bunch of pieces in there. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't fit the camera in there. And again. I can barely move. After sucking those pieces up, I found this other drop zone that had even more small pieces of gold in it. Finally, our first nugget of the day. So this may not be a nugget, but it's hard to say when it's half buried. <laughs> To a piece of lead. Right when you start seeing lead and bigger gold, that's typically when you want to investigate that area a little more. So what I'm doing here is removing all this gravel to see if the crack continues. Yeah. 
And after doing so, I found that the bedrock was half decomposed, which is a very good sign. There may not be anything here, but it suggests this spot has never been seen before. Something gold snipers want. and then I saw a flash and then I buried it. So I gotta unbury it to show you guys. Right here. Right there. <laughs> this isn't the piece that I wanted to show you, but it's still gold, so that's good. Right there. Uh. This piece you can just pick up. <laughs> they always look bigger underwater. Still a nice little nugget. Yeah, I thought this guy was a million ounces. Bloop. This is a bad time to get really cold right now, but I'm really cold, so I can't stay in here too much longer. But at least I know where to go next time. Now, I don't mind being a little bit cold, especially when you do find gold. <laughs> that tends to keep you a little warmer. I had a little picker. truck to shave my beard because with my beard I couldn't keep a seal on with my mask and uh, now it's really cold. I didn't say anything at the time but the gold I found up until this point I put in my gold pan in my truck to keep safe. This is going to be relevant to the story. This is actually quite funny. I'm fanning away on the bedrock and I actually found my old spoon. <laughs> this is definitely wide. Mom, if you're watching this, yeah, I stole it from the drawer. This decomposing bedrock is awesome. What I should have done was bring my metal detector because I've actually found bigger nuggets in the clay. Unfortunately, today I'm just gonna have to go by with what I see using my face cameras. This looks really cool underwater. It's like a volcanic eruption. <laughs> what you're seeing here is the number one reason why I go through so many gloves. Neoprene plus gravel equals uh, less neoprene. And as a result of that, I'm stuck sucking my fingers half the time because that's the only way to warm up your fingers. That can ruin your whole day. But not mine. Oh man. So I just spent the last 40 minutes moving a whole bunch of boulders from this area so I could punch down to bedrock. I got right down to bedrock and I found a really thin crack that goes all the way up to my old spot down there. And right as I hit bedrock, I found a nice little piece of gold and a bullet. So that's a good sign. Oh, I'm getting tired though. <laughs> here it's just working the bedrock and slowly moving my way up another little piece of gold mm. now it's stuck in the straw i want you to look at the snuffer bottle for a sec and remember how good it was to me because after this shot either i misplaced it or the river took it downstream so i spent about an hour looking for it and then i just called it a day 
So here's all the gold, but before we do the close up and weigh it all, I just want to say the holidays are coming and if you want 10% off your next purchases at pioneerpoly.com, just type in thank you 23 at checkout for 10% off. You can get hoodies, pants, shoes, blanket, and coming soon, these awesome brand new toques that I'm excited about that will replace old stinky here. So now you can actually be Pioneer Poly yourself. So here's the candy we were able to take home. Luckily, I made that smart decision to put the first half of the candy away. And unfortunately, yeah, we lost the rest. So somebody's gonna find a nice Christmas gift. The biggest piece that we found, I think, is this piece. We did find another little nugget on the second half, but that's gone. And I think this guy is special too. It kind of looks like a shoe. We also found this Vancouver Breweries Pilsner Beer Can Opener. Wonder how old it is. And of course, one of my spoons. I remember crevicing the area with my metal detector and obviously I, I lost the spoon, but I refound it. Okay, take your guesses. How many weights? I think 10 ounces weights. 0.59 grams. So yeah, it's definitely a picker. Shoe piece. Obviously this one's gonna weigh a lot more. 12 ounces. 0.18 ounces. And all together it's gonna be over a gram plus a million ounces. 2.20 pounds. I wonder how much gold we lost. 